Hi everyone, welcome to the cabin at Frog Hollow. Uh, today we're talking some more about the history of uh, these great flies that come out of the Great Lakes region and this one specifically from Michigan. Uh, today on this segment we're going to talk about the Roberts Yellow Drake. I'm half Roberts. My mother uh, was Clarence Roberts' eldest sister. And so this is Uncle Clarence's fly. He was a conservation officer uh, in and around the Grayling area uh, in the late 40s, 50s, 60s, and uh, just a great fly tire and uh, a, a real good guy. He was a tough conservation officer, as I hear. I only had an opportunity to ride once or twice with him in his patrol car, uh, but I hear he was hell on wheels as an officer. In fact, uh, a, a little story, uh, somebody chronicled uh, some time back about Clarence and being such a great conservation officer, and one of his relatives was a known violator, and so he stopped visiting that relative. That relative was my father. And uh, so... Clarence uh, said, Henry, if I ever catch you, he said, I'm going to arrest you. But you know what? Clarence never came around and just just didn't like to, to, to be in that arena. So uh, the Robert Yellow Drake uh, developed in the 50s in Clarence's basement in Grayling. Uh, this fly was meant to imitate so many insects that were summertime insects from uh, you know, the, the yellow mayflies uh, that started in the early summer right through, uh, you know, yellow sallies and sulfurs and all of the light-bodied insects, even, quite honestly, even some Hendrickson's, the light Hendrickson's. I've seen uh, fellows fish this fly uh, and do, be successful with it. Uh, very simple fly, deer body hair for the body, uh, deer body uh, belly for the upright wing, uh, hackled with a Coachman Brown hackle uh, with some pheasant tail for the tailing, uh, tied in sizes big to imitate the big, the big mayflies of the Asable. You know, I've seen them tied down to size eight and all the way up to 18s. I certainly don't tie 18s anymore, not with the size of my hands, but uh, this, this is an amazing fly. So many tires came out of that era. Um, if, if we were to bunch all these grayling tires up in a couple decades, they would all be in those couple decades. Earl Madsen, uh, Borchert, um, Clarence Roberts, um, gee whiz, uh, there were other guys around there, Russ Wright, Fred Bear, uh, all those guys were buddies and fly anglers and, you know, they would meet, uh, you know, once or twice a month in Clarence's basement, um, uh, tie flies and shoot the bull, have a little whiskey, uh, smoke their pipe. Uh, you know, Fred Bear hardly went anywhere without his pipe and lots of those guys were pipe smokers and it was, it was fun. I got to sit in on a few of those sessions. My brother Jim, my elder brother Jim, lived in Grayling, and I would go visit with him. They lived next door to my uncle, so I had an opportunity to intermingle with him at that time. The Roberts Yellow Drake, a Michigan historical fly. Uh, tie it with confidence, fish it with love. <laughs>